Well, this is the Brosis Effect. I'm Michael, and this is my sister Nicole. We are going to be reacting to um, a series that we've actually been watching for a little bit now. And this is episode 20. It's called All That Parish, and it's in the Interface series. We're hoping that we're going to get more information and find out what happens since now Mischief and Henrik are wanted, basically. They're fugitives. Yeah, Running fugitives. from the law, and, you know, they're... They're the good guys, though, you know. And all that parish, that's quite a, a heavy title. So yeah. I'm a little worried what's going to happen in this one. Every year that passes, he became more quiet. him. He looks just as he always did. I have grown older than him. He remains the same, yet under the skin, he couldn't be more different. Why are you here? To witness a mortal sin. And the consequences of blood guilt. But also, it's supper time. Supper time. coming full circle to one of the earlier episodes. So he got hit by a car? Oh, he's hanging on. Unlike him, I'm still here. You can change that. Bring him back. Let him know she's still here too. Until then, I will protect her. Yes. 
So, I don't really understand what happened. That was deep, I don't know, yeah. So... It was his daughter, right? Yeah, so I have, I have questions. Why was the daughter's voice coming out of the hand thing with the face that we've seen in the early... Remember one of the first episodes where we saw the car in the water and like the couple and the baby and we saw that like devilish looking face like that was one of the first episodes we watched so why was her voice coming from that thing is she that thing i think so she's recognizing that her father doesn't age and that she became older than him i thought that she died in that house because then the static like went up from under the blanket she must have turned into that maybe she, it's yeah, like maybe, a spiritual thing or something i don't know because she said so i don't remember the exact words but she said why am i still here or something like that i think it's like a almost like a ghost in a way. yeah like her her ment her mentality through cami or whatever is still existent but now in that weird hand thing but the whole Henrik getting hit by a car, I don't get that. And then was that him hanging off the yes, bridge I as well it's... as the one falling in the water? So I'm not really sure. I think he was hanging off the bridge and then he let go and fell into the water. And why was Mischief like his smile got really big and he's like supper? Like I guess I'm not sure. Maybe he wasn't like he didn't think anything of it. He was just like laughing at the whole situation and then until she like made a deal with him. I feel like he's always, he knows what's going on. He knows what's going to happen. He's kind of like playing with them, but still trying to help. Like sometimes I don't know what's what with him, but he seemed to know what was going to happen. It's hard to tell if that was comedic relief. Mischief's hard to read. Yeah. That was definitely intense, but once again, I'm left confused, and I'm not sure what happens. So if any of you have a better understanding of what went on there, please let us know. It's a long time going, and it's a cool series. A lot, definitely a lot of cliffhangers. It keeps us interested, and I can't wait to see the next one. 20 episodes. That's pretty impressive. I really liked the music in this one. I mean, the music's always good, but the song was really intense and like I felt so in it that I almost forgot that we were filming. It definitely is effective having music that pulls you. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of our content. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Brosis Effect.